this place is unreal. Florida Keys, here we come. Our journey to the Florida Keys has begun. We are now on Highway 1, which is the main road that takes you from Miami area all the way down to Key West, which is the final point of the Florida Keys. We've been to John Pennicamp before, which is a state park in the very first key, Key Largo. It's stunning and has a lot of really cool coral reefs and mangroves to explore. We'll have a link up here if you are interested in checking that out. We are going to be camping this week at Bahia Honda State Park, which is in between Marathon and Big Pine Key. This is one of the hardest campsites to get a reservation at in the Florida Keys because it is one of the few spots that actually has beaches to enjoy. There's literally campsites that directly butt up with ocean views. It is spectacular. We've been trying to get in here for years, but luckily a cancellation popped up and we were able to sport six nights. So cute little We stopped for some lunch. That was a long drive. We got hungry. We came to Erie Island Eats. This place has been here for about eight years. It started as a tiny food truck and it has expanded into this amazing market. They have so many different like goods and fresh produce for sale. Everything's organic and locally sourced as much as possible, which is kind of rare. And now they've opened up a second food truck where they're gonna be selling more like sandwiches and breakfast items. I ended up getting a short rib bowl that has like plantains and a tropical slaw. I got the Carolina Coastal Bowl. It's got slaw, pickled red onions, jalapeno peppers, stewed okra, Kahlua pork, and a mustard sauce. Do you think we're messing up not getting the, the chorizo grilled cheese from the other joint. They smoke their own meats here. They have a smoker going outside all day long. So if you are into smoked meat, I do suggest going to the new food truck right at the entrance. They also make their own fresh bread daily. Oh yeah. Mm, flavor explosion in my mouth. So tender, sweet, savory. This is definitely the winner out of the two. Short rib. These are all daily specials. I hope they have it when you come. <laughs> With our bellies full, we continue to Bahia Honda State Park, which was just over the seven mile bridge after Marathon. The seven mile bridge is the longest in all of the Florida Keys and is an iconic landmark on a scenic drive. I've done this before. Oh, look at the gecko in there. <gasps> Hi, gecko. Power. After getting set up, we hopped on our e-bikes and explored the park. We said hi to some pelican friends and saw the chunkiest manatees munching away on some seagrass before watching what would be the first of many epic sunsets at the Bahia Honda Bridge. You won't fall. Just commit. Ooh. I'm so excited to be going on the paddleboard. I made it. <laughs> What's up? This isn't that heavy, but it's heavy enough. <laughs> and it's so hot here right now. We're here in early December, but it's like 85 degrees and when you're out in that, that sun, I am sweating. Really? It's like an overcast day. I know, I can't imagine. The water wasn't very clear just because it has been windy. This is the start of the windy season, so if you like kite surfing, this is a fun activity to do down here during winter. But I'm not gonna lie, I worked up quite a uh, appetite. I'm like shaking because I'm so hungry. So oh, really? Yeah, well you haven't eaten nothing. So no, you're, yeah, eat. Burning calories though, girl. That's Ooh. what that means. Sauteing some cabbage with our bacon and eggs this morning. We always like to have some type of green, but a lot of people don't know that when you're buying salad mix or leafy greens from the grocery store, or even a farmer's market, 
The longer it sits, it loses more of its nutritional value. For spinach specifically, it loses up to 80% of its nutritional value within the first 48 hours. This cabbage has been in our fridge for close to a week, so we're really not getting that much nutritional value. It's more fiber, which is precisely why even if you're eating as healthy as you can, you should be supplementing with a green juice. I've been drinking Organifi Superfood blends for the past six years. I love that they can help me relax in the evenings, gain more energy, or in this case, fill in the nutritional gaps of my diet. Organifi's green juice is made up of 11 different superfoods, things like Moringa, the shrub Ashwagandha, as well as algaes, spirulina, and chlorella. These aren't things that most of us eat daily, but they are packed with antioxidants, adaptogenic compounds, and micronutrients that our bodies need to thrive. All I have to do is add one scoop to a cup of water. I'm drinking the mint green juice today, but they also have one that comes in apple crisp that is super tasty. And I love that all of their blends are less than three grams of sugar and are 100% organic. If you're looking to add a healthy boost to your diet this year, make sure to try Organifi using the link in the video description below and use code ESRV to get 20% off your order. Now let's go do some snorkeling. I'm so excited to go snorkeling. Today we're going to Lou Key Reef, which is one of the best reefs, not just in Florida, but in the world. We should see so many different sea creatures. I'm really hoping we get to see a sea turtle. So give me some fin. Noggin. Dude. We are booking this tour at the state park. They have a marina that you can come to, and I think they offer tours Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 9.30 and 1.30 p.m. It's about $30 for us to book this tour. Heads up come early about an hour and a half before they actually depart on the boat because there's like all these forms you have to fill out and the boat fills up quickly we we tried to come at like one for the 130 tour the other day and they were like uh yeah that's not gonna happen they also have things like snorkels and fins you got your fins and a wetsuit for rental if you don't have your own because it's gonna be 78 degree water and we're in there for an hour and a half which is a really long time with the water being cold what do you think we're gonna see today i don't know i hope we see some sharks we've seen sharks from the shore I mean, so, I'd, I like to see them from the shore, but like, I just want to be like really close to one. There's also manatees right here, which is so fun. It took us about 30 minutes to get to the reef from Bahia Honda. The water was a bit choppy, but still the brilliant turquoise blue the Florida Keys is famous for. Luki is named after the ship, the HMS Lou, which supposedly sank on the reef after running aground in 1744. Even though the visibility was fairly low that day, we still saw tons of different fish species, corals, barracudas, a cute little lobster, and Dennis even swam with a black tip shark that we unfortunately did not catch on film. We had an amazing time on the snorkeling trip and definitely recommend it if you're coming here. We were very thankful to make it back just in time for another amazing sunset over the Bahia Honda Bridge. You ready to see how it's done? You have so much stuff. What is this? Umbrella? Yeah. Table? Chair? Yeah. Backpack? Yep. Total necessario. I need all this, dude. I can't sit out in the sun like you can. I'll fry. So yeah, I'm gonna javelin my way to the beach. Okay, let's see it. Oh my god. Where did you go? The oh. plane, that's cool. The plane. The plane, boss. The plane. Today the waters are calm. The sun is out and the watercolor is the most striking turquoise. I feel like we're in the Caribbean right now. That's why so many people love the Florida Keys, because you don't actually have to leave the country to feel like 
you've made it to island time. This is one of the allures of coming to Bahia Honda is they have sandy beaches here. Not just one, but three sandy beaches to enjoy. This is called Loggerhead Beach. It's on the Atlantic side and it is the largest of the beaches. It stretches from the marina all the way to the campground on the north side of the island that has gorgeous beachfront camping sites. There is a lot of seagrass on the beach right now, but that's not something that happens year round. The state park chooses to leave it here because it is a natural part of the ecosystem. It's actually kind of fun watching the birds kind of peck around in it, yeah, hunting. It is. This place is unreal. I cannot wait to get out on the water on the paddleboard to go snorkeling. If you can't secure a spot here, there is a day use entrance fee and it is 100% worth coming to. You can go to any of the beaches. There's the snorkeling tours. This place is a dream. The only thing missing is some island music. Pump up the jam. Pump up the jam. Pump up the jam. No, the only thing in missing actually is a little hut selling fish tacos. Oh, That's don't missing. get me started. <laughs> Going snorkeling. The water feels perfect right now. We came to Calusa Beach, which is on the Gulf side. This is a really nice swimming beach because they have it buoyed off so that boats can't enter. It's just kind of like really calm. There's palm trees over here. It definitely gives you the tropical vibes. It's also where you can find the Overseas Railroad, which was the old highway that was built by Flagler to connect Miami to the Keys in 1905. It was in commission for like 30 years until a category five hurricane called the Labor Day Hurricane decimated the Florida Keys and destroyed part of the railroad. They built the Overseas Highway, which is what we use now, but you can still see the old highway here and even walk out on part of it, which gives you an incredible vantage point of Calusa Beach especially when that sun is hitting it, you can just see that crystal clear blue water and it is stunning. The shark! Uh -huh. We've seen two black tip sharks. I'm not this sure if they're the same ones Dennis saw, but this is where he saw them. They like go underneath the bridge back and forth between the Gulf and the Atlantic side. They're just kind of like playing. We also saw sea turtles, so cool. So definitely worth the hike coming oh, up to the top. Yeah, I mean, it took like five minutes and it's not that steep of a grade. It's doable. Doable for anyone. This is a must. What's up, man? It is a very chilly, gloomy, and windy day, so we decided to come to Key West. It's about a 45 minute drive from Bahia Honda. Our first stop is to grab a grouper sandwich. Seafood is like a must if you're coming to the Keys. I mean, you're surrounded by- You're in the tropics. Yeah, you're in the tropics and you're surrounded by beautiful oceans, so you right. have to get some type of seafood, but grouper is really popular here. Bio's is known for having a banging grouper sandwich, which is exactly what we got. It's got lettuce, tomato, a little bit of aioli or mayonnaise sauce on it, and they've like thinly fried the grouper, which I do like that. It's not gonna be super oily. Well, the filets are thin, but the sandwich is thick. It's pretty How good. How it should be grouper sandwich, dude. Yeah. Yes. It's more like a cornmeal breading instead of it being a flour-based breading. Mm -hmm. All right, I need to put the camera down. I Seasoned eating. nicely, this is great. This was my idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. I think it's perfect. Yeah, it is good continuing our food journey in Key West at Garbo's Grill. There's a really cute little Airstream that sells burgers, tacos. I've been here many times. It's one of my favorite spots in the Keys. We also got a fish taco, a Korean beef taco, and a spicy shrimp taco. Um. Mm. <laughs> Today's food did not disappoint. Key West is outrageously expensive. Like everything just is double here. So be prepared for a sticker shock. This is very good. At least you know you're getting good food for the price. So I hate paying for food that's not good and you're paying a lot of money. Oh, I hate that. Mm. Key lime pie is the Conquer Public's national dish. You have to get key lime pie if you come to the Keys. This is our last day. Mission accomplished. That's it. That's, that's what it. I've been looking for. Just the right sweetness. It's not crazy oversweet. Not too much lime because that can actually happen. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
This is the hardest part, the food's ready, but we have to get B-roll of it to show you guys. And then we have to take pictures for the vlog. Our food's always cold. <laughs> Got a little something, something in my teeth. A little something in your tooth. <laughs>